Hello, my name is Edwin Epperson, manager of Blue Bay Capital. And today I wanted to share with you the five W's of lending and how. To give you a brief background on myself, I served in the U.S. Army from 2002 until 2015. I was an infantryman who later earned my Green Beret serving on a combat dive team, Operational Detachment Alpha 7325. I have had over seven deployments to many different countries such as Kuwait, Iraq, Afghanistan, Colombia, Germany, and Egypt. During my time in training, it was a key component in my military success that I was taught about leadership, being decisive under extreme duress, and the importance of communication. These three components of my training resulted in an adoption of the special operations mentality referred to in Jocko Wilnick's book, Extreme Ownership. If you are in a leadership role, I would highly recommend that you read this book. So where does that lead me to today? In 2014, I made my first loan while deployed in combat operations to Afghanistan and have been doing it ever since. I have been a part of mentor groups and masterminds and now actively provide these to others. Since 2014, I have made over 100 loans and deployed over 15 million of my, mine and my investors' capital. Yes, I've had to deal with a, lo a loan going long, going into foreclosure, and I have seen and witnessed some private lenders even getting scammed. This is why I am so passionate about teaching, educating, and mentoring others how to be better private lenders than even how I began. Let's look at some facts of the wealthy and how they view building, protecting, and preserving their family's generational wealth. The first key ingredient that wealthy families adhere to is their inner circle. They surround themselves with people smarter than they and with different ideas that elevate their investment game. As the saying goes, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you who you will become. The wealthy know this intimately and they practice these guidelines on a daily basis. The wealthy of the world, where do they invest? What do they invest in and how do they invest? Where the wealthy invest for long-term cash flow and appreciation can be found nowhere else except in real estate. We know that more than 90% of the world's wealth invest in real estate, whether by owning real estate or controlling real estate, they understand the power of investing in real estate for generational preservation. They do this through a team and advisors they surround themselves with. As Warren Buffett is famously quoted, risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. The wealthy understand that using other people's time, knowledge, and experience is the essence in building, protecting, and preserving generational wealth. The wealthy also understand the differences between assets and liabilities. As Robert Kiyosaki simplistically but brilliantly explains in his well-known book series, Rich Dad Poor Dad, assets put money into your pocket, liabilities take money out of your pocket. The wealthy know this very intimately, and they practice acquiring assets, not liabilities. One other component that the wealthy understand, which many investors do not, is the difference between ownership versus control. Controlling assets is just as powerful as owning assets with one huge benefit. When you control assets, you do not assume the liabilities and responsibilities of owning those assets. So who can invest in private mortgages? Well, many of us may think it's very wealthy people, but I would like to propose that anyone can invest in private mortgages. Age happens to be one of the first ideas or concepts that people think of that they have to be older to invest in private mortgages. I help people, young and old, and in between to understand and realize that this is an incredible investment vehicle that they should take advantage of immediately. So let's talk about leverage. If you are a busy professional, you have a career, a job that you're working towards building a fulfilling life for you and your family then you need to find someone whose time is dedicated to performing the, this investment strategy and leverage their time. If you do not have the knowledge to make safer loans, underwrite, and mitigate, and shift risk, then you simply find someone who does and leverage their knowledge. If you are concerned you will make a mistake or that the risk seems too great to overcome, then you need someone who has the experience and is willing to teach you and show you how to navigate these uncharted waters and leverage their experience. This is the beauty of leverage. Leverage does not only speak to money, which is the most common perception, but also to time, knowledge, and experience. 
If you have unanswered questions or are unsure about private mortgage investing, then this is where my company specializes in providing turnkey solutions for our inner circle investors. Many people think that you have to be wealthy. Probably the most common misconception is that this investment vehicle is only for the wealthy and high net worth individual. This could not be further from the truth. Maybe in the traditional way of investing in a mortgage pools and in, in registered investment trust or funds where only accredited investors could afford the opportunity to invest in private mortgages. With meticulous attention to detail in my investments in solid grounded solutions provided by my team, my company has been providing turnkey private mortgage investing opportunities to minor circle investors since 2014. Let's talk about what, what is private lending or specifically what is investing in private mortgages? Well, there's three things that you're going to do or want to be able to do to invest in private mortgages. Number one, you want to think like the bank. Just like the banks mitigate and shift the risk onto you when you buy a home, you can do the same when you decide to loan your money out secured real estate investing. Number two, they analyze like the bank. This investment vehicle is called private mortgage investing because just like the banks who analyze and secure their capital with a mortgage or a deed of trust, you can do the same when you lend your money out secure to real property. The third concept you would need to grasp is investing like the bank. And just like the banks make you pay monthly for their borrowed capital on a car loan, on a mortgage, credit cards, or even a line of credit, you can receive the same monthly payments on your capital as well for a certain period of time until the collateralized property is sold or refinanced. Another question that people ask is when? When can I invest in private mortgages? Well, you can invest in a private mortgage when the market is up or down. Because you are acting as the bank, you can make your rules. If the market starts to shift, you can require more skin in the game, i.e. borrower capital, to keep your loan to value low. Your security is the asset, have plenty of equity cushion, and you will be afforded more protection when the market goes wrong. Whether you are a graduate or retired, and you're getting ready to get your first job or you're selling off into the sunset, diversifying your investment portfolio to include private mortgages will allow you to begin building long-term passive income and generating generational wealth. Another time when people can invest in private mortgages is whether they're in a growth or maintenance stage. Whether you're looking for growth opportunities or simply to maintain your income, private mortgage investing offers plenty of diverse and multifaceted opportunities to do either or even both. So where can you invest in private mortgages? Well, there are several things that I'd like to cover here. And the first off is who are you going to invest in? Uh, meaning the borrower. Uh, there are two typical types of borrowers in the world today. There are owner-occupied and then there are non-owner-occupied. You can decide to lend to owner-occupied or non-owner-occupied. Be aware that there are different differences in the law which apply to who you are lending to. Know the laws of the state where your property is located. Another question is, where can you invest as far as asset type? You can, you can decide to lend on renovating uh, single family homes and commercial properties. You can decide to lend on raw land, even developments of single family or commercial. Anything that involves real property, which can be collateralized, meaning that you have a recorded lien on public record. Also, uh, the affordability of the property. Uh, should you invest in private loans that are secure to affordable homes or luxurious homes? You can decide whether to lend on either one of these. The exit strategy plays a big role depending on which type of asset you're collateralizing. Another question is, uh, should I lend in my backyard or anywhere in the United States? You can decide to lend in to borrowers in your state or across the nation. It really doesn't matter. What does matter is the laws of the state of where that asset is located. And then lastly, uh, should you invest in debt or equity? 
You can invest as a debt position, typically very low risk, yet lower return, or in an equity position, it's typically higher risk, yet a higher return. What is the common factor in all of these? Where you can invest? It is real property. So let's get down to brass tacks. Why should you invest in private mortgages? No matter what, you have an asset that your money is secured to. Your capital, represented by the note, is secured to the property through a mortgage or a deed of trust, also called a security instrument. The mortgage is a publicly recorded document that lets anyone know who the borrower is and how much they borrowed, as well as who the lender is. These documents are legally binding and enforceable in the court of law, meaning not even a bankruptcy can wipe them out, the documents. As long as you have the proper team in place and they have con been conducting business within the law of the state, the county, and even the city, you have assurances that no other investment vehicle has. The only one that has assurances as close to capital secured by a mortgage to real property would be possibly a government bond or a checking and savings account insured by the FDC, FDIC. And we all know what they're making in returns right now. Also, you should structure, uh, you can structure your private lending to pay you annually, quarterly, or even monthly. There are not too many investment opportunities that provide you a steady source of income such as this and is secured to a tangible asset. You literally do not have to work for one penny. This investment vehicle is a true example of making your dollars work for you. Each dollar is your employee. Make them work hard or fire them, meaning change your investment vehicle. The third thing is risk. Risk is the ominous elephant in the room. Where in many other types of investment methods, you leave the control of risk in someone else's hands, with private mortgage investing, you have the ability to pick your team, personal relationships, and operate your investments through tight and strict guidelines. You do not have to control the risk. You simply have to be able to conduct those professionals who help you control the risk. Another thing is, it's 100% your decision. While making the decision may seem overwhelming for some people, it's not that difficult. Either the proposed mortgage meets your guidelines and you invest, or it does not and you do not invest. How do you know? Simply rely on the team you have in place. Not 100% confident in making a sound decision? Never compromise. There are always great opportunities to invest. Speaking of your team, this is where private mortgage investing really shines. In this business, there are licensed professionals throughout every step of the way. You are like the conductor of an orchestra, and they are the artist. You simply let them know what you want, and then they perform. You are truly able to leverage other people's knowledge, experience, and time to help you manage your investing risk. I was in Afghanistan in 2014, and I had the capability to do this business over there because of my team. And last but most important is peace of mind. All this talk of team may make you wonder, well, who is paying for all of them? This is the only investment method where someone else pays for the fees for you to invest. That's right. Once you have your team in place, they are all paid for by the borrower. Just like a bank makes you pay for everything when you buy a house, you are now acting like the bank. So let's talk about risk and mitigation. So I'm gonna go over some risks that are common. Uh, these are risks that people will bring up and say, well, what about this risk? And then I'm gonna cover the mitigation that you can take to reduce or even eliminate that risk. So what happens if the market crashes? This is always on top of everybody's mind, especially in 2006 to 2008 and beyond. And then as we're entering 2023, uh, the market is capitulating. It's, it's changing rapidly. So what happens if the market crashes? What do you do? Well, very easy. You lower your loan to value and you shorten your terms or how long your loan is. Well, what if the borrower stops paying? That is why you hire an attorney and you use the attorney's loan documents to keep you secure. What if the asset is destroyed? This is why you ensure that the property that you're capital is collateralized against, has proper insurance, and you are listed as the mortgagee or the lost payee of that property insurance. What if a borrower scams the lender? This is why we get background checks and we make sure that the borrower has skin in the game. 
never, never, never do a 100% financed loan. What if the rehab funding is not enough for the construction? This is why you escrow the construction funds and then you get the draw inspections completed and you only disperse the money for work that has been completed. What if the borrower sues you? Well, this is, or excuse me, what if the borrower is sued? This is why you get property and company insurance. Make sure that the property has insurance and make sure that the borrower has uh, a general liability insurance for their company. And last, but definitely not least, what if there's a title issue? Well, there is a great tool that we have as private lenders. You can actually get lender's title insurance. So every borrower or owner gets an owner's title policy, but you as a lender can also require that your borrowers pay for your lender's title insurance policy. Well, this brings us to how. Well, how do you begin to invest in private mortgages? Well, first you have to gain the knowledge. And this knowledge can come from books, it can come from seminars and courses, it can even come from college, it can come from mentors like myself and even other private lenders. Next, you will have to bring together your team. This includes your broker, your attorney, a title company, a servicer, an appraiser, and even an inspector. And then last, but again, not least, is the capital. You have to get your capital. Well, where can your capital come from? Sometimes people are not sitting on millions of dollars in their checking account. Though that could be an option, there are other options. Maybe you have money in a CD or a money market account, self-directed IRA or solo 401k, also known as a qualified retirement plan, or even an IUL, an insurance policy, and possibly even your HELOC or a line of credit that you have. All of these are options for you to access capital and then put it to work in loans secured to real estate. So really, you have to be able to break through these obstacles. You need to be able to leverage your time. You need to find a company whose every hour, every day, is committed to allowing their partner investors to pursue their own passions, their own careers, their lifelong dreams, while tirelessly creating, presenting, and partnering with you into these incredible investment opportunities. Second, you need to leverage their knowledge. You need to find a company who has years worth of knowledge and understanding to help you structure your loans in the best way possible to mitigate and shift your risk to your borrower. A company that is constantly seeking to, to update best practices and disseminating those practices to its clients for their benefit. And third, you need to find a company whose experience is needed in the private mortgage and deed of trust industry. They need to walk you through the worst case scenarios, from bankruptcies to foreclosures and e even litigation from your clients, i.e. your borrowers, against you as the lender. That is where my company, Blue Bay Capital, comes in. We can answer each one of these needs, each one of these keys to help you take your private lending business to the next level. So how can we help? Well, Blue Bay Capital's turnkey private lending solution can do this. When it comes to time freedom, if you're doing it yourself, you don't have the time. Let us take that from you. If you don't have any experience, that's okay. You get to leverage all of our team and the experience that we have in the industry. If you're looking for file cabinet money and you're out there doing these loans yourself, it's not a passive investment. Let us help you, partner with you, and truly create passive income. If you're doing it all yourself, you're not taking advantage of true leverage. Leverage our team, leverage our time, knowledge, and experience to help you take your passive investments to the next level. And most importantly, participate and diversify. If you're doing it yourself, you're having to come up with everything and do it all yourself. When you partner with Blue Bay Capital, you're able to participate and diversify your investment dollars across multiple loans and reduce your risk. So really the question is, is turnkey private lending for you? I believe that it is. If you're seeking truly hands-off passive income and passive investments, I believe this is for you. If you're looking for a way to diversify your portfolio into risk-controlled yet high-yield investments, then this is for you. If you're looking for alternative investments where you think, analyze, and invest like the banks, then I believe our turnkey private lending solution is for you. 
My name is Edwin Epperson. This is my contact information. Please reach out. I would love to sit down and explain more of how my company works and how we can come alongside of you, partner with you, and help you make private loans secure to real estate. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great rest of your week.